Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this project here. It's a, it's a basically a suction fan that we're going to use for our OMTEC 130 watt. Now, if you own one of these 130 or 160, you will see when you're engraving, there's a lot of smoke going on. And a couple of days ago, I actually purchased two of these units here. They're not brand name or anything. They're made by iPower. Now, but the suction, as the fan speed actually is 318 FM, uh, sorry, CFM. That means cubic feet per minute. So this guy here pushes 318 cubic feet per minute, or sucks, doesn't matter, and both ways. Uh, you can use it as a blower, or you can use it as the actual, you know, air vacuum. It is six inches and it's again I got it very cheap. Right now it's earning a seventy-eight I mean was sorry earning of seventy-four dollars. When it was on sale, I actually got it for thirty-one dollar. For some reason, Amazon when they put this on the first couple of days, they start selling this was thirty-one dollars. I believe people start buying them like crazy and now it's up to it's back up to $74. Uh, I got the same exact one, the six inches. Again, $31. It comes with a power controller. Uh, the spec on it, it seems very good spec. Didn't see nothing crazy. The diameter is the size of the diameter. The, the whole unit over overall is eight inches, 0.3. And the mounting bracket is going to be 4.3. Uh, 11.5 inches in length and the diameter of the hole actually is 5.8 which is it works for the outer diameter at 6 inch too that's what kind of we have in our actual home tech laser engraver fan so let's dig into it let's go back to the machine itself and let's see what can we actually use this guy for how are we gonna mount it what struggle we're gonna have a hope we're not gonna have a lot of struggles, but let's see. Wish me luck. So here's the two big boys that we're gonna install to this guy. Okay, um, I will be testing it for a minute, but let me show you something that we're not gonna use. Okay. So basically, these are the guys that comes in with each controller. So each controller, actually, this guy comes in and hooks up here. Okay, in the bottom. And then that's just how you control it. Due to this is gonna be the wire is gonna be in the bottom. I will have to figure something else, maybe attach this one somewhere here or something, but I am not gonna use this. Probably I won't even use this. I'm gonna wire it directly to this. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take this guy, plug it here just to show you the power, and we're gonna plug this guy over here. Okay, so right now it's in off mode. Okay, it goes to full mode. And let me tell you, this guy is so powerful. I put my hand here, it drags my hand. Okay, that's how powerful this guy is. I'm not putting my hand because the fan in there, but I was sitting on the table earlier. I put my hand here. I actually could pull this guy backward with me, but because it's sitting on these, it's not coming in. And there is a lot of power coming out of here. A lot of power. On the low setting of this guy, on the low setting, compared to the original machine fan, this guy here is a little bit more stronger on the low power setting. So I can't wait till I install it here to see how it's going to look like. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to turn this guy off, and I'm going to actually go in the back, and I'm going to try to figure a way how to install this, because I do not have a lot of room in the back, and I'll explain to you in a minute. So I opened the back for you guys to show you. So my machine, as you guys maybe see in the video, I like to have the machine all the way to the wall. That's why these are extended. When I push the machine, this guy pushed. I have that much room. I'm not going to install the fan here, okay? I would like to install the fan inside the machine. Now, I don't have a lot of room inside the machine, okay? Because I have the belt. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you open the door, we'll go from there. So for example, I opened this, okay? Uh, the machine actually comes in with two fans. As you guys know, there's two fans. 
I open you guys this just to show you guys. So I can put it somewhere maybe inside here, but I have this belt going through. And this fan is so big, it will not fit through here. Okay, it will not sit on the floor. So the only way I can, I don't even know if I can fit this one here. Maybe I can fit one of them at least. So now what I did, I opened the fan. So this fan here, the old fan, usually it sits like this. Okay, and then this dock here, that's where your actual vent, okay, connect to this guy. So what I did, I opened this guy. So there's two screws in the back. You open them, this will come apart. Now there's another two screws to detach this guy from this guy. So here's the idea I'm gonna try to do, see if it's gonna work, okay? So the idea I have, I'm gonna take this guy, okay? And I'm gonna put it, insert it inside here, something like this, okay? And then I'm gonna attach this guy over here, okay? The only problem I'm gonna have is this door is gonna open all the way up to here. It's still okay. I need to surface anything down there, it's easy. All I gotta do, take the door apart, which is, well, I can get it here, I can put my hand, I can get my hand to those latches here and take the door apart, okay? So that's the idea I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy, mount it all the way here, inside, put a couple of screws in there, and then this will attach to here, and then the tube is gonna come here. This should clear the actual table, go up and down. I already checked it out. So we'll check. We'll do one. I'm not sure about this guy here because there is a motor here. I'm not sure I'm going to have a room after I close. I'm going to have to double check. But at least I can do one of those big boy that can sit here. Let me mount it and I'll show you how it does. So this is how it's going to be. So I attach this, put a screw here, screw here, and a screw here. That's not gonna go nowhere. And I can bolt this guy actually to here. And now I should be basically all set. It's not gonna move nowhere. Now, wiring, okay? How are we gonna wire this? So I open this case and it's just basic. Basically, I have black and white and green coming out of this. So the machine itself, it does have red and black wire and there's a ground. The ground was on the fan. So I'm going to use this to cut this and I'm going to slice it to this guy here so I can use it over here. Basically, I'm going to slice it to this guy and I'm going to use it here, okay? And then I'll wire from here to this fan. So this box will be actually for the closure for the fan too, just because you're always working with electric. First, make sure you're, um, you're unplugged. Okay, your power off, and you do not want any exposed wire. So that's the reason they have a box in here. So all your wire should be here. So out of here, I'm gonna take a wire into the next fan. Okay, so this guy is gonna go to this fan, and from this fan is gonna go out to the other guy. Okay, and if this guy is not, it's gonna reach. If it doesn't reach with you, you should follow this. See where is it coming from. And maybe replace the whole cable the longer one that's the best way to do it okay so let me attach this guy over here wire it. I'm gonna maybe try this guy I don't want to just I'm gonna open it and see if it's gonna touch that fan over there that motor over here you guys can see it this motor right here I think it's gonna be in the way so I might not be able to put two fans only one but hey one better than the two old one okay so I'll have one old one and probably one new fan, and then we'll see what we're going to do with the other fan. Okay, but let's see first if it works. I'll both hook up both of them. If not, I'm just only going to hook up one. Worst to worst, maybe I can move this fan a little bit higher, mount it higher. But the problem is going to be this guy here is already welded, so I'm going to have to modify this, cut it, to move it higher. I'm not going to play with that right now. I'm not going to do that maybe later on. I can move the location, put it here so it will not hit the motor, but we'll play with that later, a different time. But right now, I want to see how this is going to work, how I'm going to install it to show you guys. Okay? So here's the install right now. Okay, this is how it's going to sit down. Come closer. So we bolted this guy, and this guy, if I want to remove it, all I got to do, open this case from here, and actually 
remove the whole case. All right now, I want to show you something. So as as I said before, I could not hook up the second one here because it interferes with that motor. It's okay, I'm gonna try it like this one first. I can tell the difference by 110 times, okay? This is the old fan, they're both running, okay? So here's the old fan, this is how much it's pushing. You can barely see it. I'm gonna pull like this, it's barely pushing the old fan, okay? I'm gonna move to the new fan and you're not gonna believe it's, it's, I can't even, you can't even tell, you know, you're out there, but this guy does so much pressure compared to this guy, it's unbelievable, okay, it is, the power of this is gonna, I believe, suck everything, okay, so again, this is the new fan, barely pushing, this is the old fan, okay, I mean the new fan, this is the old fan, I can't even put this guy here, that's how much power is coming out of here right now. So this is going to be amazing. Now we're going to put this to the test. Okay. So I put a piece of wood. I'm going to engrave it and cut it. I'm going to close the door and click star. So here it's cutting. And here's the smoke. There is smoke. Of course, because we're engraving, but it's not staying up a lot. It's actually getting sucked in. Very good. Of course, I'm next to the fan. Probably if I'm here somewhere, I might lose a little bit of power, but I can barely see compared to before. Oh my God, this thing was all smoked out. waiting for you guys to see when it stops engraving and I'm gonna actually see how much smoke is gonna be out there I'll try to open the door right away as soon as it stops engraving Excuse me. Should be almost done. I just use the big box. I've just basically a box. Fill it up. As soon as done, I open it and barely, barely a smoke. Okay, it's all getting sucked out in the bottom.